during the last 2007. So today in this video, I'm basically just going to be going over some, some simple, not simple, but like just some light one combos that you should probably know when playing the deck. Um, the thing is with light one, it's a bit tricky to do like a, like a standard combo video where you do one card combos and show like the end, direct end board. But what I'll try to do is like show like some generic hands where you like wolf plus wise or like dragon plus a, dra uh, a light one engraver or like uh, bestial plus like a certain light one cards and basically try and show you like what you should expect at the end board or what you should try and go for, what lines you should like go for when you have those types of hands that way when you play this like you're able to play a little bit faster and more streamlined than when if you have to think about like each of your play um just so that way when you play in a tournament and you play like something that's online you're able to play faster and also not worry about going into time as much and have like less worry about like thinking about your plays. Also, I'll try and do show some test hands with the list I play specifically, um, where I just shuffle the deck up and just show how I would, uh, my process and sequencing of how I would play a certain hand out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the combo bit. So for the first like two card combo, I'm gonna show you what you want to try to do with Wise Plus Wolf. Um, for me, it's uh, you can do quite a few things with these two cards, and again. Uh, like all of these combos, the lines also probably will vary based on what you mill as you go further deep into the combo. But just as everything being blank mills is a you mill just like complete blanks, this is what you're gonna do with just a wise puzzle. So we'll start by wise putting back walls on top of the deck and then milling two cards. Here I'm using Midora as just a blank, and then we'll trigger the wolf effect gradient to special summon itself. Then we'll go synchro A into the Minerva synchro, use the effect. Dump a copy of Dragon Link plus a copy of Weiss. Here we'll go Chen Link 1, uh, Weiss, summon back our Dragon Link, and then Chen Link 2, Dragon Link, search. Um, here you have two options based on what you play in your deck. You can play add either Judgment Dragon or Punishment Dragon. For the purpose of these combos, it doesn't really matter. It just changes how you sequence things uh, near the end of the combo, which you'll see in a second. And I'll explain both lines as I go through it. So then we'll summon back our, our copy of Dragon Link to Weiss, use Dragon Link effect to dump a copy of Phyllis from our deck. We we'll then use the Phyllis to summon itself back out. Here we have two options, one is way better than the other, but it depends on what you, again, what your hand is and what you want to be doing. For example, the one I like to go for typically is go uh, synchro straight into a copy of Cypher and Lord Omega, hand loop your opponent for one card, then summon your Judgment Dragon, or use your Minerva effect and banish for the summon our Punishment Dragon, and mill four cards, and then you can go into a rank eight. Or the other option is, which I personally don't prefer, and which I don't really like doing for multiple reasons, is going for a Minerva Exceeds. So, reason why I don't like going for the Minerva Exceeds is that once you use Minerva, if you don't mill like good mills, or if you mill average mills, or you don't mill a light one, for example, your Minerva ends up clogging one of your names that you, like, after you detach, your Minerva clogs the fourth name that you want to banish with this, uh, the Minerva Synchro. I mean, you don't get the four banish for Punishment Dragon, and you don't get the four, uh, different lights for names engraver for the Judgment Dragon. So, by going into Minerva Exceeds, the Minerva Exceeds one, you can't actually special any of your Judgment Dragons, and they get kind of clogged in your hand, which is why I prefer going straight into, um, Cyframe, and, uh, ripping a card, which then it means I can summon my Judgment Dragon or my Punishment Dragon straight after and then go for like my preferred rank 8 play. So I typically go for Zombie Vampire because we're playing Lights once we're here to mill. But you can also go for like Photon Lord or uh, Hope Harbinger and Endemus Spellmaker. So essentially with the one, uh, the two cards of Wise plus Wolf, you can uh, end up milling like 8 cards of your deck plus hand looping your opponent for one card. Or setting up like Punishment Dragon plus uh, Minerva on field, hand lift your opponent, mill four cards, and then end on Punishment Dragon, which is like a shuffle up for like all the cards in the graveyard and banish pile. Basically resetting your deck entirely. And yeah, that's just it for the first combo. For the second card combo that I want to show you guys is what you can do with one charge or one dragon link if you have a light one in graveyard. So you can there's multiple ways you can set that situation up. Like if you have the King Suck to pitch out the lights one named, you can then do the Dragon Link combo first. Or if you charge mills three cards, which I'll do an example now, and you only mill one lights one that isn't wolf, uh, you can then search Dragon Link and do this one card combo. So we'll start with activating charge. We'll mill two blanks plus the one random lights one name. Here we'll, I've just picked twice as like the basic one. We'll 
add a copy of Dragon Link to my hand. From here, we'll use Dragon Link Effect Special, and then Dragon Link Effect on Field to send Fearless from our graveyard. We'll use Fearless Effect Special Summon itself back out, and then we go Synchro for our Minerva Synchro. Here, we'll chain block our Minerva Synchro so we get to go chaining one Minerva, chaining two Dragon Link. Again, like the last combo, we have the two options between the Punishment and the Judgment Dragon. Whichever one you prefer playing, if you only play one, it's fine. If you play both, I personally prefer searching Judgment Dragon first and keeping Punishment Dragon for future plays. We'll then use Minerva to dump Wolf plus Weiss from our deck to graveyard and trigger both their effects. So Weiss will summon back out our Fearless because we would like a Cheer on our field, and Wolf will summon itself back out. Here, again, like we're back, basically back at the same situation as we were in the first combo, where we can now go for the uh, either Omega to hand flip one from our opponent, then uh, special summon the judgment dragon in middle eight or make a rank eight by choosing, or we can go for the Minerva exceeds and then mill three cards and then um, try and mill, we'll end up milling six cards. So again, I personally don't think it's ever worth going for the Minerva line unless you have specific hands or specific situations, and it's always just better to go special summon the judgment dragon from your hand, mill four cards with the Minerva, mill four uh, going to zombie vampire and mill four more and end up milling eight cards instead of just and hand looping your opponent for one instead of just milling six instead and not being able to summon your judgment dragon so that's it for the second combo and we'll move on to like some more advanced combos i guess so the last sort of combo that i wanted to demonstrate that you can sort of replicate in most lights one hands is what you can do with the previous two combos with which is wise plus warp or dragon link plus uh or charge that mills a lot, uh, with light on the grave. When you add like a bestial to those combos, uh, and how you can like add further more to your board. So we'll start with bestial rebellion effect. Search back the moon. See if our opponent has stroll or something. Uh, then we'll go vice effect. Put wolf to the graveyard. Use wolf and then mill an extra card. We'll use wolf effect in the graveyard to summon itself back out. And here we're just going to repeat the same sort of combo line that we did in the first one, but we summon a nervous synchro. The effect to dump dragon link plus wise go dragon link and wise effect search out either our copy of punishment dragon and just bring the dragon basically based on which ones we play and which ones we would like to search first i typically prefer judgment dragon like i said before but you can do whichever one it doesn't really matter because the sequencing will always work out in our favor we'll then go dragon link effect on field then dump the fillers from our deck use the fillers to reborn now here you can you can never go for the Minerva line because well you can but it, again I just don't recommend it at all. What we're going to do now is this line I also should mention this before does play quite heavily into Nib. There isn't really a way you can um, play around it. The only way I guess you do play around it is that you keep like a Judgment Dragon in hand. So you have a level eight body afterwards to keep like extending, but this does play quite heavily into Nib. So don't I wouldn't really recommend going for this line unless you feel like you're very confident in like your opponent not having nib or if you have a way to extend past through the nib so like if you have a regain on the field for example i also so we'll go magnum effect banish the weiss go magnum effect on field now we use magnum plus the weiss to synchro off into a copy of our mr dispader now we can use the dispader to summon back our, our copy of weiss synchro these two off into a copy of omega Omega effect to hand lip on our opponent for one. Tribute the Bistial Rebellion to summon out our, uh, the Bistial Dismated to summon back out the Rebellion. The Rebellion then put branded Regain to put branded Beast in our, on our field. Then we can use either, we can summon our Judgment Dragon now or we can save it for later. Then summon uh, Banish 4 to summon Mill 4 with our Minerva. And then we can also then summon our Punishment Dragon here. Which uh, can we can now keep on the field as an interaction for our person and then overlay into our rank eight of our choosing. So for this one, I'll choose like zombie vampire, for example. And yeah, basically this uh, end setup now by adding like one bestial, you can now add a uh, dispader in graveyard with your brand regained on field, so you can summon it back. You hand loop your opponent for one. You can mill eight, and now you get to keep punishment dragon on the field as an interaction. So just by adding one uh, bestial to our combo, it makes our end board lots more stronger. Like we're, at, we're able to add like two more pieces of interaction, and also give us a regain, which is a great card to, for follow up and um, ex uh, and playing through nib if they didn't like they decided to save for whatever reason. 
another thing to note is that if you are uh, regain before Omega, like if you Omega after using regain, which you can do, uh, you just have to hold the Omega till later. You can then put back your Omega or put back a banish card, the banish card that your opponent that you banished from your opponent's hand if it's a light or dark, and draw a card, which is something quite cool to know. And another thing to note with this combo is that it can be done with the second combo, which is the lights one dragon in combo. You just sort of follow the first original steps, and then when you get to the same point where, uh, where you have the Minerva plus the two level four bodies, you can just do the same thing where you summon your Bestial and synchro it off. And the Bestial doesn't actually have to, it can be either, uh, what's it called? It can be either uh, Lubellion, or it can be a copy of Sarania, because, um, Sarania, what you'll do with the Sarania is you'll summon it at the same point as you summon Magnum Moon, synchro it off into the Spader, use uh, the effect of uh, Sarania to dump the Lubellion, and at which point you can then use uh, the Spader to Reborn, then tribute the uh, Spader for the Lubellion, and then some uh, put regain effects up on the field. So this co the combo works with both Lebellion or Sarania, and it still does, works with other bestials. It just means you won't have regain on the field, which means you're less you like you're less inclined to uh, link off the Dispater. But because again, how this deck plays, you can always put another dragon on the field, and you can always mill Dispater as you go on with your combo. Like if you don't have immediate access, like if you use a different bestial and you didn't have access to your uh, Lebellion already, you could have milled with your Minerva to like mill the Lebellion hopefully and try like or you can go into like a zombie vampire using the dragon and still try and hit the uh bestial rebellion later and then uh tribute it off for this a bit later in the combo so it all really depends on what you mill and uh what do you call it how you um sequence your things so uh that's it for like the last real like real combo um now i'm just gonna do some test hands like and showing you like what a randomized hand would look like on this deck for this last little bit, I just want to do a few test hands to show, um, sort of like how I sequence and how you can sort of play, um, like different hands out with uh, Light Spawn, just because, because the deck is so very like high variance, and, like uh, there's no set in stone combos for what you want to do. I thought that maybe just doing a few, a couple of test hands, like uh, with just random uh, hands, can sort of show what. Um, sort of the, like the logic and mindset behind how you want to play different hands out so yeah i'm trying to give it a few ripple shuffles um uh, and just give it like a halfway cut and sort of just show like what we can try and do when uh going first with light swans and yeah pop up so judgment dragon black dragon collapse open safer king sock and imseti so this right here is already like, quite a good hand we have imseti plus a uh, safer with black dragon and we have a judgment dragon um if i'm starting off with this hand i'm probably just going to start with imsteady pitch judgment dragon uh the logic for this is that i can get a lightning breaker for black dragon and um get imsteady in the grave straight away so i'll go search a copy of another copy because we played three copies of king so i'm going to add this um the list I'm using is just to be the list that I have uploaded on my channel channel at the time for the 60 card lights one, uh, whichever one that might be. Um, I'm not, I don't know, I'll probably upload another one, but we'll see. So we draw um, a wolf, which is perfectly okay. We can actually, drawing wolf here isn't that bad because we have a few things we can do here. Uh, we can go safe it, uh, pitch itself a black dragon to search dragonly and then king start pitch wolf. But for now, I'm just going to play a little bit more. Uh, risk it first and just go king sock effect pitch the wolf dump a copy of um happy here here we go and we're just gonna summon back out our two bodies and go straight into a copy of uh zombie vampire so here you could have also probably put up a copy of photon lord but uh and play and try and play a little bit around nib and then keep going from there but I like to play a little bit more risky. As I, I'm like I'm playing with lights once. I'm here to have mill and have fun. So we'll, we'll mill four cards. Uh, we mill dark, safer, and hawk. These are actually okay mills. We probably will just take the dark here, which is hitting dark with zombie vampire is actually always pretty good. It just means uh, when you link it off, it uh, adds hawk and you can use it to or add uh, raw because we mill hawk here and then. Uh, it means we're ending on Colossus when we hit the dark. So, 
here, I'm now thinking I kind of want to go for a copy of, um, the, what's it called, the, uh, Sayuja. So we're going to special summon black by banishing Hawk, uh, Link Black into Striker, go black effect, search, uh, copy of, uh, White Dragon, special summon White Dragon by banishing Black Dragon. And then link all of these off into a copy of our Saisha. We'll chain block the Saisha by using um, the copy of Dragon Dark, it's chain link 2. So we'll search a copy of Raw. And then we'll draw 4 cards and put back 3. Um, right now I'm just looking for like any light one cards would be quite nice uh some vis shields would also be great because it means we can start doing hand looping stuff because say if it is right now uh can search dragon link which can uh then becomes a copy which becomes the full uh combo that i showed before so we'll draw four one two three four so here uh we do have dragon dark in hand as a badge for law which we can consider but because we're just doing a test hand, we'll probably put back Thrust, we'll probably put back King Suck, and we'll probably put back a copy of Safer as the three cards that we're going to put back here. So now, I'm just going to go uh, activate a law straight away. Uh, we'll draw two. Uh, we've got a Saturn in, which makes this actually much easier for us. We'll go banish this copy of Wardrobe. Um, here we don't even have to commit our normal summon, we can just go so I use your effect to special summon out safer from our hand. Use safer effect sending itself to search a copy of uh Dragon Link. And here we'll then use Dragon Link effect to special summon itself out by dumping uh and then use its effect on field to dump Phyllis. Phyllis effect to special summon itself out. Synchro, um actually did we get tuner out graveyard? Uh we don't. So we'll just go Synchro, 8 into Minerva Synchro, go Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, search a copy of Punishment Dragon, uh, and then dump a copy of uh, Wolf and Weiss, so whichever ones we see. So even, like I said before, during the, uh, during Wolf, there wasn't even that bad, it actually was more helpful for us because it means we can now consider safe as a way to get into our, like, um, entire lights on place because we now have a lights on in graveyard but uh now we can just use weiss and wolf to summon back up two bodies um we'll go sound effect targeting uh i like to just banish the other dragon dark here just because it's a uh, um you can recycle it put it back to graveyard like uh when you use the hawk and roar so we'll then synchro 10 now into a copy of spader go sound effect up a copy of here i'm gonna put regain to graveyard just because i do play beast but it should be a copy of regain live um but you could probably put a copy of uh beast and hope mill uh mill the what's it called uh regain if the further you go down but i prefer to keep uh sorry i'm not dumping the i'm not dumping the belly here on regain um but yeah uh we like you can uh it's like Actually, you know what you should do is you should mill four and see what you mill for, uh, with before you, uh, what do you call it? Decide what you what you want to summon with, uh, what you want to put up with the belly. So uh, we, oh, I forgot to banish for Saturday. So we actually aren't supposed to banish dark, uh, dark. We're meant to banish wise, and then we can use uh, dispatch to summon back at the wise. Uh, that's actually quite important. I forgot. Um, we then synchro these off into a copy of Omega. Use Omega to hand loop your opponent for one. Uh, you can also hold it and then uh, use it for um, after you put regained or beast in the field. But yeah, first we're going to mill four with our Minerva. So we'll go shuffle this up again. Um, right now we can. The only thing we really want to see is like Chaos uh, Dragon Levy because we can then hand loop our opponent for another card. But um, other than that, we already have like pretty much everything that we want to mill already in the grave. So we mill the wise there, we've already used the effects, so now we're just going to tribute this uh, this beta for the Bellion. So the Bellion effect, put a copy of, uh, I'm going to put Regain here just because I don't think I'm going to be milling anymore this turn. And I don't really want to, um, 
what's it called? Uh, uh, what do you, uh, leave my dismay by itself in the graveyard. So I'm just gonna keep it there. Um, so here, what we can do is we can link these two off into a copy of Seals now. Use King Sark again to pitch our thrust to then dump the copy of Dumatef. Then we can summon back our Dumatef. And this is where playing three Horus games comes up quite a lot because you always find yourself needing one more level 8 body later in the combo. Like that's, that's what I found myself needing quite a lot when I was playing this deck. I needed just one more level 8 that I could summon with King Sark, but I never had it. And now that I've added it in, it feels a lot better. We'll then go. Um, Safe it, uh, add back uh, Lubellion, and then go uh, regain effect to put back our safe at the bottom of the deck to draw a card. So here it, can be, it doesn't really matter what we draw, it could be a little bit anything except for the Fistule, that's great. We go Lubellion effect, then search a copy of. Wait, I think we've already done that, haven't we? Did we. No, we dumped. Uh, we didn't search up the Fistule this time, we just. Um, yeah, because we have my select deck, so. We can still do that. Go search for magma here. Uh, go. We can so we can do like we, we can summon the magma here and put it in the field and just get a Venice and face search. But actually, on our run, you probably don't even search magma here, and you probably search draw as well. Just because um, you want to, you'll keep the magma in deck for what seals to summon it out. Uh, during the opponent's turn, so that way you can search any bestial on there and face and decide what dragon you want then. And this way you can get both Bordrick and Druid's Worm off on the same field, same time on the field. So now what we can do is we can special summon punishment dragon, use uh, Raw to uh, I think add back the banished Hawk, use Hawk effect to summon back out the uh, graveyard, darken the graveyard, tribute it off. Summon out Colossus, and here we basically ended on a uh, copy. We got two Bestials in hand. We have a Spell Negate, or it could be a Monster Negate. Seals bounce Colossus, Punishment Dragon, which is a massive Medora, plus um, tons of follow up. We have the Spader and Graveyard to, uh, as a as a what do you call it? A um, Negate, and yeah, that's like that's pretty much. It, um, yeah, uh, I think one test head is probably enough. It just took 10 minutes, which is kind of again one of the issues with playing lights one way. Uh, it does take some time when you're doing like a full heavy combo. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and 